is John Ward, welcoming you to another presentation of Tennessee football on home video. The story you're about to see unfold is one of adventure and achievement. It's the story of teamwork, commitment, and the will to win. Welcome back to the channel, Vols fans. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at new transfer from Oregon, Dante Thornton. He's a six foot five, two hundred pound receiver. Um, he had nine catches, one hundred seventy five yards, two touchdowns in his freshman season at Oregon, and uh, he had seventeen catches, three hundred sixty six yards with one touchdown last season. Um, we're going to take a look at some of his plays in college and uh you know he, he came out of high school as a four star um he's a really great athlete kind of puts me in the mind of a justin hunter that's why i've got his highlights up here uh very similar body style now he's not as fast as justin hunter is coming out of high school his 40 time was a 463 he plays a lot faster than that though um and he plays very sudden so uh, he's got a really large catch radius, and uh, you know I, I think he's going to do wonders, wonders for our uh, offense for sure. Uh, we've got a lot of length, and um, you know we've, we've got a lot of people who can who can make plays. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here he is here on the D ball. You see right here, this is him on a post route. Does a good job stemming the. Uh, I think that's a safety to the outside, making a nice break. Let's take that back real quick. Okay. Right there. See that nice little stem? Tracks the ball well. He has speed, beats him, catches the ball well, makes it look easy. Here he is on a little double move. He had his man beat. Okay, so this, this is him here. You can see it better. Again, coming off of the line of scrimmage, he does a really good job of stemming. He does a really good job of freezing that corner and making him kind of, making the cornerback choose a side. So, stems him here to the inside, releases to the outside, good job here. Cornerback doesn't get any any hands on him. Um, right there, nice little stutter step. He's already beat right here, right? So that, that he's already beat that corner. Um, at this point, I mean, this, this should be six points all day long, right? Uh, he's way on top of him, so he's got about two yards on him. Um, may not look like much, but when you're talking about college or pro, even uh, a lot of like high school level ball, this much separation on a deep ball with no help over the top, that should be six points all day. Uh, our, our quarterbacks hit that pretty consistently. Um, the ball is just thrown short, so doesn't end up making the play here. I'm just showing his burst off of the football. If you just kind of come back here and watch him, he's a very fluid athlete. Look how smooth he is when he runs. He makes it look very effortless. Um, that's always good for the route catching. That's him down at the bottom on the slant. That's clearly pass interference. Now, here he is here. Okay, so this cornerback has inside leverage. He still wants to fight to the inside. So you'll see instead of him doing what, um, you know, normally you'll see a, a receiver if you look at my cursor here, we'll come straight up the field here a little bit more to try to make this cornerback come outside more so he has a little bit of an easier um, inside lane. He doesn't do that here. That's something that you know we can coach. So actually what he does is he makes it look like he's gonna block. So that's like a scheme difference. When you look at Oregon, the wideouts block a ton. There's a lot of lateral plays. So this is actually good for their their offensive style comes out makes it like he's blocking but you know again he's really smooth um able to get the pass interference there here he's doing a nice job blocking um i'm gonna go back okay so here he is here right there in the slot he's got a pretty nice base here um does a good job of just getting in the way. That's really all you need to do there. Nice release, it was a free release, nobody touched him. You can see he makes moves in the open field. This right here is something that we're definitely gonna have to clean up. I think that he fumbles twice in this game. 
So, I mean, you know, those are just little small things. You've got to keep that ball away whenever you're out in traffic, but you can see him making moves. Um, and I'm going to play that back really quickly. This is a shorter video, but let's kind of take it back. You see, he's going to get open here on uh, like a dig route. This is him down at the bottom. Finds a nice hole, catches the ball well with his hands in traffic, makes a man miss, makes another man miss. And, you know, just got to clean up that that last little portion of it. But like I said, uh, you know, he's really good with the football in his hands. Uh, that's something I know that a lot of the fans were talking about last season that our um, receivers didn't do a, a great job in the open field of making people miss. That's something that uh, that Dante is definitely going to bring to this team. Um, so, you know, he's, he's definitely going to get open. Like I said, he's, he's really smooth with his uh, with his route running, catches the ball very well and he could also make people miss again look at that very sudden uh he's got a really nice stride length it's not too long so you know that's part of the reason that he's able to juke people out so easily look at that. he's got really good feet great hands catch the ball with big strong hands uh drags it out forward here he is again stock blocking beautiful job setting his body up um if y'all missed it let me go back uh, you know this is definitely something that have to be able to do so that's him right there Watch the way that he sets his body up, does a great job of getting away and taking one guy, one guy out of that play. Um, you know, I look at football like everyone has to do a job. And whenever you have someone, I mean, even something as small as just taking one person out of the play, hey, that's one person that whoever ends up with the football doesn't have to worry about. So little things like that go such a long way. So he's at the bottom of the screen here. On a deep ball again, he's you know got a lot of separation, beats the guy, makes a good catch, drags him five yards or so. Um, let's kind of take that one back before we get into this next play. Okay, so again, you can see here that you know he's got a lot of separation. So this is a guy that you don't want to try to single cover for sure. Um, he's going to be a guy that they're going that other teams are going to want to put uh, a safety over the top. And, you know, obviously with him being so, so long, you can also throw shorter passes to him as well. He's six foot five. He's got really long arms. Um, and, you know, so now we've got a lot of taller guys and a lot of fast guys as well. I think this offense is going to be scary, scary good, guys. And this is a this is a big piece to the puzzle here. So here he is on a little reverse. Um that was a kind of a weird play. It's, you know, I don't really like those. I see a lot of these days they like to try to do these pitches. I almost want to say take the take the pitch out of it. Uh, and if you are going to pitch it right, maybe uh, I'm not sure this is a quarter. I don't think this is a quarterback. I'm not sure. It looked like it maybe was like a wildcat. Maybe he's like a running back. Pitch it now and throw it up. You know, give the receiver some time to be able to come and track the ball and get it. But he's kind of like sidearm dumps it. You know, it's like a half handoff. So that really wasn't on Dante, in my personal opinion. I think it could have been a much better uh, exchange here. I wanted to make sure uh, that I did get that in, though, because obviously, you know, it's something for us to keep an eye on. Here he is at the, at the bottom of the screen. Again, he does a really good job of stemming this receiver. That was a poorly thrown ball. Watch this, though. So this is a slot fade. This is the most difficult route to cover as a as a uh, corner safety, whatever. It's really tough one-on-one. -on -one. So slot fader was, you know, just very, very poorly thrown, but you know, that was a nice job in his route. Again, I love how smooth he is and how fluid he is. He's open again here, catches, first off, tracks the ball very well. Watch the way that he, watch the way he keeps his eye on this football. Look at this. He has to put his head around to the right side of his body and find the ball. Now look at this, this is all hands. You know, you definitely wanna have receivers that use their hands well, and he definitely does. He has really good hands. Nice job here. That was a really nice job there, uh, as subtle as it all was. I think they're gonna show it again, but let me just go back to this angle. As subtle as this all is, the way that he understands, okay, I'm going to help set up a lane here by by getting my, my first off, getting my body on this corner, getting to the inside of him and turning my butt to the inside to give this running back a nice lane to be able to get up this field. So what he does 
is he instantly is attacking the inside of this corner who's already got strong inside leverage. He's about a yard or two to the inside of Dante here. But he does a really good job of still fighting to the inside of him and setting this block up. So that's a really nice job. Um, you know, that's that's a good job. I mean, he uses his, his arms well. Watch him here, throttles down nice. Beautiful base, does a good job, like I said, using his long arms. And that's it for Dante. And we're just gonna go through some more uh, Justin Hunter highlights uh, because obviously, you know, he was a dog, you know, and um, you know, I'm thinking that we're gonna get someone similar here uh, in, in Dante. So that's it guys, leave me a like, uh, make sure to hit the bell, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, really, really looking forward to, to Dante for sure. Um, you know, he's, he's gonna be starting. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where they're gonna wanna put him, but he's a guy who can play outside, inside, doesn't really matter. So um, looking forward to it, thanks, peace.